Absolutely right. The Quinn's champion mindset being tested right to the full here at the stoop in the wet. Lan. Care. He's spacing that backfield and Simmons having to work really hard to cover that territory. It's a great kick. Very good kick. I'll tell you something, losing a back three member, the responsibility he's taken on to get back that cares are lucky with the bounce of this ball. But Simmons really does make up a lot of ground. And in a very tight angle. What a kick. quality kick. Two good kicks that. Crowd doing their level best to rouse their men. Exeter, though, with this excellent record away from home. Alec Hepburn watching on. They've won seven of their last eight away in the Premiership Chiefs. Curiously, lost three out of six at Sandy Park. That's the weird bit. How many? They are closing in on what would be a famous victory today if they can just get it done in the next six minutes. Sam Maunder replaces his brother Jack at scrum half. Quinns, as we know, the masters of the late score, the masters of the comeback. Liner, Green. Good tackle from Slade. Esterhuis. Smith. Tester for Witten. Hugh Jones is hurtling towards him. You're not first player, you're not first player, mate. Kirsten. Three in the backfield for Quinns. OK, five seconds. Smith switching places Use with it, Green. Man. They know what's coming, or well, they think they do. They do, but the extra cha chase team this second half's been very good. Put loads of pressure on Tyron Green. Ian Witten leading the charge. Green to Smith, here comes Slade, oh, he's shot out of the line, he's left a hole. Smith's into that hole, he'll show oh. the ball, feeds it through the tunnel. Marchant. Offside lines. Care. Smith, crossfield, two men out wide, Liner's one of them. Oh. Lewis Liner, forwards. Oh. That's three crossfield kicks. There's genuine not a lot more Marcus Smith could have done. What I like about Marcus Smith is when you have that much time and skill, you play the game at your pace. Steps out of this one, goose step, and then he manipulates defenders with his feet. Gets the ball away to Marchant. This quick rock just allows the field to be as big as possible. But I like the way he connects the dots with the outside backs. The crossfield kick. I'm not a big fan of ever letting the ball bounce. Accelerate onto that, catch that on the full, and you're going under the sticks. Allow it to bounce, and you have the ball at your mercy. And it has been three times now, five metres out in the second half. There's only four minutes to go. They might not get a better chance than that. Well, what a finish we have in store here. Three and a half minutes remaining. Quinn's... Asking some tricky questions, but it is Exeter's ball. Struggling to retain it at scrum time, but once again, it's Simmons from the base, and Witten, who's been tireless in the carry. That offload to Witten, it's just, that's fantastic composure, because Simmons was getting caught from behind there, and that is very, that's high-level stuff under that much pressure, actually. Five seconds! Maunder, Quinn's doing everything they can to get to the new man at nine. Liner Witten. has Witten on him. Again, it's Witten. Here's Green. Taken by Kirsten. You just see Exeter ramping up the levels of intensity in defence. Kerrod, banged over by Simmons. Quinn's having to build again from halfway. Smith, Esther Hazen. If anybody can conjure it, it's those two. Hugh Jones. Two and a half minutes. 
Smith again. Lorde. Here he is once more. Smith popping up in the midfield. Through goes Lamb. That's the 22 metre line. Kerr wants it quick. Have a penalty advantage. You need to make something of it. This is Jones again. Three won't do, will it? Once more, they straighten through Marla. Unfeasible pressure. Once more, the kick pass. This time it works. This time, Esther Hazen scores. It had to be him. It had to be those two. Well, as I say, fourth time lucky. He is drove in those wider channels. Marcus Smith, often the person to unlock defences, as he did with ball in hand in the Premiership final. That is a gorgeous catch yeah, and a kick. Mate, catch it on the full. The moment, it's a great bit of attacking work under pressure. Just a small note for Stuart Hogg, who does track back to make sure Esther Hazen can't get anywhere near those sticks. This is a pressure kick with 70 seconds to go. But the way in which, oh, is it onside? That looks onside to me. Tempo, just hang on a sec, mate. I'm not sure it is. Flat. David Rose wants another look, I think. I'm not sure it is. No, we're not having this. Go back. Go back. Go back. If you don't go back now, I'll penalise you. Go back. That's the point of contact. Tempo. Yeah, I'm okay I mean, with that. He's just onside, mate. So he's yeah. onside. Yes, mate. It's fine. been Thank sanctioned. It been will stand. And it will leave us, <laughs> and more significantly, Marcus Smith with one hell of a conversion. Well, and Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Some players middle, Sorry, look particularly cool aside. where compared with others under pressure. Marcus, Marcus Smith yeah. actually tends to look better under pressure than even he does when there is none and he can look pretty spectacular when things are cruisy what is it about these two these two sides just serving up drama left right and center final minute of the match scores level england's newest rugby superstar Yes, please, turn back on. <laughs> Enough! Who writes the scripts? He does. He does. I made a move. 14 points to 12. Time for one last restart. Richie McCall, scriptwriter, has got a new client. What a dream. Unreal. Just enough bend on it. It's Chiefs ball. And they will have one last chance. If ever there was a test of your champion credentials, it's these last few minutes for these two sets of teams. Marcus Smith showing unbelievable composure and just enough accuracy. Tell you what, whoever put an extra paint of coat over Christmas on those posts, give him a pay rise. That was a massive kick. But if that kick was big, nothing compared to this next scrum. This game, although it's in the red, and we've had a red, it's not over. It's not over. It yeah, really what, is. A, what a kick, though. It might not be Stop. over, but what a kick. It was extraordinary. Here we go, then. Scrum time. Chiefs holding firm. Better than firm. They want the penalty. They won't be given one. Ooh. Well, you've got Ben Moon launching himself into Simon Kerrod, looking dominant. I agree, you've gone sideways, no clear, go But somehow, sideways. you need Patrick no, Schickerling to hold his own or get past Joe Marler, and that ain't easy. That ain't an easy thing to do. He looks tired, does Joe, but he never gets that tired. Schickerling making his Premiership debut today, the Namibian born prop. What a moment this is for him to try to lock out the Chief Scrum. I tell you what, Al, locking it out ain't enough. He's got to rip through one of the best scrummaging loose head props in the world now. The Chiefs are going to win this. 
quite the task. Everything hinging on this scrum for Exeter. In she goes from Maunder. Okay, stop using Danny Onsad. Maunder feeding Noel. Working their way towards that 22. Simmons crashing forwards. The drop goal would do it. He's in the pocket, isn't he, Simmons? They're keeping it between the 15s. There again, over the top of the ball. Esther Hazen thought he'd secured it. He's won he has. Is it Clint's possession? He has. That's the key turnover. And there's the victory. Yet another stunner for Harlequins. Reigning champions. And it takes all sorts to knock them off. Extraordinary finish. And they've come through. Tabai Matson's men with so much character and resolve. It was Chiefs who had the better of this second half, managed the game beautifully. But Smith and Esther Hazen, ultimately the difference. Full time at the stoop. Harlequins 14, Exeter 12. We get this every week. This level of drama, competitiveness, late finishes, just sheer quality once again in the Gallagher Premiership. You've got to commend every player and coach that have contributed to what's been a thoroughly enjoyable day at the Stoop. Twickenham, Stoop has been bouncing. Harlequins, the victors.